Hello lads and lassies, welcome to Sean Vlog. I'm going to do something a bit different and interesting today. Now, I've done a lot of food vlogs in the past, especially in Brazil, because the food there is amazing. But one thing that's disappointed me is that a lot of people give Scotland a bad reputation when it comes to food. And I don't think it's fair, because we actually have some really good food here. I'm going to do a new series here on my YouTube channel, where I go out in search of good Scottish food. So I'm going to go to different places and try different types of Scottish food. I'm going to show you what Scotland has to offer. And hopefully it'll be something a bit interesting and good because I can honestly say Scotland has great food from what I know already and I'm interested to find out more myself as well. The first place I'm going to is a restaurant right here in the city centre of Edinburgh. Let's go, let's do it. Scottish food, a new series here on my YouTube channel. New song by Justice is really, really, really good. So I'm listening to it now on Radio One on Annie Max Show. Such a good track. Go and check that out. Justice, a really great dance band that I've been missing for a while. I really love those guys. The song's called Safe and Sound. I really like that. Funky. Love that bass line. That looks like a storm cloud to me, thunder and lightning. Right folks, we are here at a place called Number 11. We're going to have some traditional Scottish food hopefully for some dinner. Me and Tech are here. We didn't really dress up that well and it looks quite fancy here, so I'm a bit, little bit worried about that. I've got like a tartan shirt on and jeans. I hope that's alright. Hi, how are you doing? Nice to meet you. All right. Hi. I just know, I went to ask, like, you know, they always give Scotland, Scotch food a bad reputation. Mm -hmm. I think it's unfair. But the first thing people think about is, with Scottish food is like deep fried stuff, right? That's our reputation as eaters, not a reputation for food. Yeah. Food that in this country is amazing. Our wine machines, our razors, our game, and all get shipped abroad. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you. What's your name again? Sorry? Willie. Willie. Good to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Lots of good options here. Yeah. I guess starter sounds good. Gunt skink, which is a Scottish soup. Potato soup. Haggis. Bambi steak. Tech is going to teach me some things about etiquette. Small one starter. Main course. Main course. Something like that. So good. Okay, so first of all, the haggis was amazing. Amazing haggis. Really, really good. Spicy but soft. Melted in the mouth. Venison steak. This venison, by the way, deer meat is absolutely delicious. You know those cute big deers with that antlers that run around the highlands? They taste delicious. Really, really good. It's like strong beef. Very typical here in Scotland. After that amazing venison, which just melted in the mouth. So soft. 
taste was delicious. Dessert is next, so we're going to have some sticky toffee pudding. Not traditionally Scottish, but always good. That looks amazing. Got a little Edinburgh landmark. There's a castle there. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you very much. Yeah, it was great. I'll need to come back with my parents. I think my mum would really like this place. Number 11, Brunswick Street. Really, really good stuff. Highly recommend it. Tell you what though, I am way too full. Look at the Scotty dog. I'm way too full to go and sit at home on a sofa, so I think we're going to go for a wee drive and see the sunset. We're going to come to a place called Musselburgh, go to the harbour and just take some photos and walk around a little bit. Tech has never been to Musselburgh Harbour before. Musselburgh's a nice part of town. It's worth coming down for a visit. Here we are at Musselburgh. Wow, look at the sun. Guys, check that sun out, that is amazing. So yeah, this is a place called Musselburgh. It's a little kind of town that's joined on to Edinburgh in my opinion. It's like just on the edge of Edinburgh. But it's part of Edinburgh. And it has its own little harbour here, which is quite pretty. I like coming down here. The tech has never been, so I thought I'd take her. The sunset is quite pretty. Look at that. Very orange. I've done a bit of a time lapse. See how that turns out. Good way to walk off a big dinner like we've just had. One of the things about Scottish food, and that's exactly what the chef at number 11 was telling me. Willie. Willie is his name. Chef Willie told me that in Scotland, yeah, we've got this reputation for eating bad food. And it's, we do, we eat very, very, very badly. We eat a lot of deep fried stuff. But we actually make, produce, sell a lot of really good quality food. Uh, and if you think about it around the world, you guys will know what Angus beef burgers are. Angus beef burgers, you can find them even at McDonald's and Burger King and places like that. Angus is a place in Scotland. Angus beef comes from that place. So that's just one example and there's loads of others. Haggis is obviously something that's quite specialised but the seafood from here is amazing in Scotland. We, we make some tremendous seafood. So yeah, I'm going to start a bit of a series of Scottish foods starting with today. This was the first one and I'm going to do a bit of a tour of Scotland looking for the best Scottish foods and what a good way to start here in Edinburgh and number 11 Brunswick Street. I really enjoyed that. Even Tech liked it. If a Brazilian likes Scottish food that's a good enough seal of approval for me. We're going to go home now. Been a good night overall. I'm pleased. <laughs>